Hello, I'm Dr Nina Burrows. I'm a psychologist and I specialise in the psychology of sexual abuse. Sexual abuse is a topic we tend to talk a lot about in society. It seems to be constantly in the press. But if you look at the conversations we have around sexual abuse, they tend to boil down to one question. Who do we blame for sexual abuse? Sometimes when you're an expert at something, it's your job to answer other people's questions. And sometimes when you're an expert at something, it's your job to say, you know what, I don't think we're asking the most useful types of questions on this issue. So let me do both of those now. Who do we blame for sexual abuse? I don't actually like the word blame. If I'm blaming somebody for something, normally what I'm doing in that moment is trying to push the issue as far away from me as possible to try to avoid looking at any responsibility that I might have for the issue. So if we were to change the question slightly and say, which group of people should we hold most responsible for sexual abuse? I think that is a useful question. And the answer to that question is the perpetrators, the sex offenders. They are the group of people that we should hold most responsible for sexual abuse. So having answered that question, let me say that when it comes to sexual abuse, I really don't think we're asking the most useful types of questions. I meet many people who are scared, confused, and they're frustrated because sexual abuse seems to be constantly in the press, but things don't seem to be getting any better. I find that if you take the time to sit down and talk to these people, most people have many questions about sexual abuse, but they don't feel that they're questions they've ever had the chance to ask before. So this video series is me doing what I can to resolve that. For season one, I have pre-recorded answers to questions that I regularly get asked. But for season two, I'm inviting you to submit your questions to me using the comments section underneath the videos on YouTube or through Twitter. I definitely will not be able to answer all of your questions, but those questions that I can answer, I will. When I give an answer, I'm definitely not saying that every word that comes out of my mouth is based on empirical evidence. I'm happy to give you my opinion, but I suggest that you find other information elsewhere and talk to other people about this issue too. But if you feel that you've got questions that you've never had a chance to ask, now's your chance.